you know, growing up we we saw just about every uh, $1 weekly video in the horror section. See, the intention with Undead was to try to make a horror movie that was more of a throwback to the uh, to the traditional type of horror films that we loved as kids. When I first read it, I just remember thinking, this is pretty ambitious. I, I thought, gee, this, is, this looks really big. I mean, this is their first film, and how are they going to do half these shots? When I first got the script, um, I was a little bit overwhelmed because I didn't, I wasn't exactly sure on how we're going to be able to do uh, that much stuff on such a limited budget. Our budget ran out on the halfway through day one, so we were pretty much left with nothing. We had to try and find all the props, dressings, flats, everything from scratch. I think on a normal film set, you're shooting about 17 shots a day, and we were shooting about 40, 50 shots a day. First day was something like 17 or 18 hours, and it was you know, something horrendous. I think my concern was that um, was that we were only into the first week of 41 days of shooting, and I was worried that none of us would survive. I think the toll of the size of the picture hit us, well, hit me by day three, and uh, I was so sick. I've never been so sick before in my life. The first week was the worst. We had um, the majority of the zombie stuff was in that first week. By the fourth day, I was taking a light reading, checking the frame, then lying down in between the, uh, the trimming of lights. I was that sick. Um, I think my record was about three days um, without sleep. We knew we were going to be very, very limited to the amount of takes we could do. Uh, we storyboarded everything, every single frame of the film, so that we would shoot only what was absolutely necessary. It was so cold when we shot, you know, the steam that you see coming out of out of our mouths, the, our breath is just, it was so cold. Wind, rain, rain being pumped on us from a dam. Being hosed down, hearing the call, okay, hose him down, hose him down, so they turn the garden hoses on. Our health was starting to deteriorate somewhat. We would get about two hours sleep a night. Uh, there were days when we would turn up to the set and we'd just be shaking from no sleep. So on certain days we would uh, drive the Marion's World of Weapons van home when it was still covered in blood uh, just so we wouldn't have to reset the blood for the next day. I think directing is hard enough. Uh, having to, uh, to do extra things like driving, Peter had to drive the generator truck out, out to locations and Peter didn't even have a truck license. Um, and having to transport most of the equipment around to location, it just destroys you before you even get out and have to direct. I've never seen in an independent movie before the, uh, the amount of visual effects this movie has. I think it has in total over 300. We did a 13-minute animatic to figure out how we were going to do the end sequence of the film. We didn't have the money and the resources to go out and shoot a lot of stuff. We had to shoot exactly what we needed you know, the hardest thing about doing the visual effects was not actually learning the technology to do it. That wasn't the problem. What the problem was is once you'd learned the technology, you weren't sure whether the computer actually had the, the processing power to handle the, uh, the set extension you wanted to do. And you just had no idea whether once you hit the render button, whether the computer would actually even render a frame and quite often it wouldn't so you'd have to figure out well what can I exclude from this shot to uh, to actually allow the computer to render and not destroy the quality of the image. We spent about eight months doing all the visual effects. We had three computers going at once and on average each one of them would crash about 10 to 15 times a day. For these guys to you know be in their in, in their bedroom um, on the computers and making all these digital f effects was was mind-blowing. I honestly truly believe there's never been a movie made like this um, anywhere.